Lord here. It is Darlington Gospel, and welcome to today's uh, shoot. <laughs> Today we're beginning something really huge in our channel. You know, all this why we've been working on solidity-based uh, projects and so on. Uh, part of our vision is not just to be a blockchain network that is just focus on the uh, bare own Ethereum EVM compatible chain, even though there is still a lot of areas to be conquered there. But what we are doing is trying to help people to embrace different uh, technology for building application on the blockchain. So we're not only transitioning people for EVM, but we also want to transition people for other viable blockchain network that we believe will be a suitable fit for you to know. And the first one we want to begin a series on is the Solana you know, uh, ecosystem. So the Solana ecosystem is cool for building a decentralized application, fast, scalable, you know, way much better than the Ethereum. It's just that Ethereum is like the, the bare bone, but with layer tools with, on Ethereum, it's, you know, it's also really great, really, really great. You know, makes that whole bug with uh, Ethereum, you know, go away. So that is it, but in this particular uh, series, we'll be going through different, um, let's say we'll go through the high level uh, aspect of, you know, Solana development. The Solana development is categorized into um, three, which we have high level, mid level, and the low level. So the high level is basically um, development with with um, Solana that has to do with you know building a JavaScript SDK, which is the TypeScript SDK. So you're basically going to be coding with TypeScript. You don't need to interact with uh, a, the smart contract using uh, uh, a, f a programming language such as Rust yet in this one. So it's just very simple, but you get the job done. I've tried it myself. You'll be able to look at a whole lot of things on it. So we're going to be building on that in this particular series. We're going to work on the high level aspect of Ethereum, which will enable you to build your DAP, you understand, and interact with various aspects of, you know, uh, Solana development. So we're going to look at that. There's also the mid level, which is where we come into Anchor development. You know, Anchor is a framework in Solana that enables you to, it basically makes coding with Rust a lot easier. Okay, it's more like a framework built upon Rust. So it, it removes the unnecessary thing that you need to repeat yourself. So you don't get to repeat yourself so much with Anchor and it makes development sim simpler, you know, cleaner and much more manageable, okay? It gives you much flexibility compared to using the uh, the high level one which we're building with TypeScript, okay? And you can do a whole lot more customization using Anchor. But then we we'll, we we'll eventually dive deep into uh, Rust development with Solana, the Rust SDK, which is basically a much deeper form of it. It's like the advanced form where if you want control, you have specialization, you understand that language and you want to build stuff with it, you know, that is what it is. But the idea in this channel is to introduce you into those things, help you to comprehend it and start building stuff with it. So this is what we are beginning in this series. We're starting with this, you know, TypeScript SDK. And I want to show you, you know, a very cool stuff that Solana has on board for you on their blockchain network. I hope this particular um, uh, series is going to really bless your life. And if you have been blessed already on this channel, please, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button, you know, smash that notification bell and, you know, get ready for us to start rolling. Okay, so to get started, you know, with me on this project, what I want you to do is just follow along. This is basically uh, VS Code right here. So we're going to be going through various things. We'll break it down very simple. We'll go through the basic the introduction. You see that Solana is not that crazy, at least on the surface level. So this is high level you know, programming. So we're basically using SDK built with TypeScript. So the first thing I want, to do, uh, I want you to do is to create a, a project. Okay, so 
we need to create a project make sure you like I'm gonna bump up this a little bit so we need to open the terminal navigate to your your project directory you know where you have all your project in so I'm gonna come here and say CD into sites okay and yeah so I'll say make a directory I'll call it um, make a directory okay call it um, ut white YouTube Solana um, series okay so we then see into this CD into YT Solana series okay we here we can use this place to launch our project using npm so we can say npm init and say dash dash y think that is it okay so it is created with all this dummy information all right so at this point i will open this on vs code so we can start interacting with it so this is the project it's just the bare bone stuff here I have all this information very basic and straightforward so what we need to do is to create a file call it dot git ignore okay so in this git dot git ignore some of the files we want to ignore is this environment variable which will soon be create which will soon be creating man I need to pop this as well so we'll soon be creating this so um, we need that to be here in the, this in this git ignore we also need this node module modules okay and what else do we need to be here yeah for now this will be okay for now these two we need to install a package and the package is called um, it's called solana slash web dot js there are many packages for this high level stuff there are packages to help you to create a token there is packages to help you as with developer helper stuff there's so many packages so we're going to go through them one after the other now for this package the ones that we're going to go through now is the basic things about solana so we need to install the their web tree package it's more like the way we have it has the js and what's it called again and web trade.js okay so we need to install I think I should use yarn so I want to use yarn yarn dot add if you don't have yarn you can literally use npm you know npm install you know install but yarn is a lot cleaner for me so you I use yarn for all my development purposes so say npm install I mean sorry yarn add and you say solana slash web trade.js so you install it and it's going to get the latest version of it and add it you know into this package okay so okay so it is built and you can see how uh, the yarn lock is available you know which is great and um, all these things installed node modules is there as well so good 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 and you can decide to initialize a git repository but for now we don't need that so oh we need that so i'll say git init okay all right yep so i will call this um git add and git commit dash m um YT Solana series initial. Okay, so there we have it. So we have all those things ready. So uh, let's get started. The first thing we want to do, let's create a project here. At the root of this, let's create a file. We'll call it, let's call it 01 because there are a series of things that we want to build here. So we'll say 01. You know, say key gen, key gen dot ts. What doing all these things with TypeScript? Okay. To proceed with this uh, key gen, 
what I want you to do is we need to import that. And the, this key gen actually comes from that TypeScript, uh, that uh, Solana slash WebTree package. So we need to get, this key gen is really important for you to generate your wallet address and your private key. So the pair, the public and the private uh, key is generated using this key gen. And it's very important that you should uh, generate it because you cannot interact with, you know, you can't basically interact with it, you know, do any transaction or do anything develop anything on this chain without your private and public keys. So let's get that key pair. So we'll call this key pair, okay? Or we can just call it my pair. No, key pair. Okay, so this key pair is gonna come with this key pair from Solana Web3. You can see that I'm importing it there. So this is where it is coming from. So call, there are many functions that you can see here. You can generate key pair from secret key. You can generate it from seed, uh, or you can just generate a fresh one, which is what I'm doing here. So we generate that, and it's gonna create a new key pair for us. Now, when this is created, there's a place we need to store this. We need to be able to see this in action. So we can decide to do a console log, okay? So we wanna log, um, say, um, the public key. Okay, you can see this is the public key. And we can just decide that two ways you can do this. You can decide to, to concatenate them or interpolate them. But I choose interpolation. So we can see this key pair right now that we now have this key pair right here that we just generated. You want to show the public key. What is the public key? So the public key is this. And you want to you want to convert it to to base five six you know eight. So the reason why you need to convert it to base uh, fifty six is basically for human readability. You understand so that you can clearly see. Okay, this is a string of Ethereum uh, of Solana. Our stuff. So let's work together here. So let's get the private key as well. So we have the private key is what is called the secret key. Okay, so I want to say dot secret key. So we're going to also dump this on the, on the, um, what's it called? On the terminal. Now we need to run this, but remember this is this is a TypeScript file. You can just do node, you know, exec, whatever. Okay, so that's why we need another package that is called esrun, okay, to execute this. And to do that, let's install that. So we say yarn add esrun. Okay, so let's run that. Let's add that to our package.json. So here we go, here we have it. So it is installed. At this point now, at this point I can decide to run this. So we can run this by saying yarn, or you can, if you're using npm, you can say npx, not npm, npx to execute this. So if I say npm exec, no, 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 no. npx, yes, run, and then this name of this file, which is 01, can click tab and this will just populate it for me. So when I run this, it see you see that it literally generates that uh, key pair for me. So what you seeing here is um, this is the the private key. This is uh, the public key. You know, but if you want to see the entire. You know, let's try this for a moment. Let's say we do not add this and let's run this again. Let's generate another one. Okay, so there seems to be no much of a difference. We can still observe that this is just a clean format of that uh, of a Solana uh, a wallet address, a public key, and this is its private key. Okay, so what about we just you know, uh, generate the key pair, you know, key pair in total. So let's have that as well. 
So you see the key pair is an object, okay? So um, in subsequent part of this you know, tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you, you get all this thing together, but this key pair must be stored, you know, is an array. You can store this, this uh, private key somewhere so that you can use it to, to um, you can later use it to Gener to regenerate, you know, because you can literally generate a key pair from the its secret key. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this thing somewhere. Okay, so to save it, we need an environment variable. So we have this package called .env. So I want to install that package called yarn .env. Okay, yarn add .env. So let's have those that installed as well so we have that installed then we can create a dot env file here there is no another file here. so we can see touch or we can just see code dot env um, we have that created here okay we have that created and you can see key pair is equal to okay and let's run this pa this package so that we can generate a key pair a secret key so we have generated the secret key here right here grab it and we can store it here I'm gonna break it down a little bit more. So this is your private key. So we're gonna be calling it, you know, as we go in this tutorial. But there you have it. This is the first, um, the first uh, part of this series. You've been able to. This is how you generate, you know, private key or, um, or public key, you know, on the Ethereum. I mean, on the Solana ecosystem. I'm so used to Ethereum. So. Um, very simple, very straightforward. So I hope you enjoyed this part. So in the next part of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to read data from the blockchain. All right, so see you then.